Good morning, Brookhaven. Looking outside, it is a bright day and oh my gosh hold on let me go in the mirror real quick yeah guys ew, look at my hair bro it is so messy and honestly frizzy because it's just been so hot today today is the first day of summer well first day of june technically but who's really counting it's still summer in my eyes when it's june let's go check the news and see how hot it is oh ho, oh, oh, i mean uh hello my name's jay boblo wrong wrong uh month today is a crazy day for brookhaven ladies and gentlemen it is 110 degrees on this hot summer day and record show that it has not been this hot in Brookhaven since the year 1868. Concerning, right? No, not really. The, the world's getting warmer. Happy June 1st, Brookhaven. 110 and the hottest day since 1868? That's like 100 years. I'm kidding. It's more, but that is crazy. Okay, let me fix up my hair real quick, bro. Ah, good old shower never fails. Well, you know what? I just kind of want to test it. I'm going to go outside real quick, and I'm going to soak up this beautiful sun, guys. All right, I'm just going to get in my backyard. I don't really have a crazy backyard, but look at the sun. It is beaming today. Oh my gosh, it is so bright. Oh, what the? Ow! I literally burned so badly, bro. I was out for like 10 seconds. They are right. It is really the hottest day ever outside guys that is wild dude, let me go get some aloe vera on to get this burn off dude for real if you guys have aloe vera bro if they're burned it's the move ah feeling so much better guys honestly not even feeling burned anymore well i better call todd and see if he wants to do anything fun today since it's so hot out maybe we can like hit the movies here let me let me ring this guy up yo, yo movies yeah all right i'll see you at the movies I'll beat you. Nope. Ah, such a communicative time talking to him. Well, we better go hit the movies, guys. We got a nice friendly movie with Todd. Oh, it's kind of cooling down a little bit. Still really hot, though. Oh, there he is. Yo, Todd, you ready to hit the movies, buddy? Yo, dude, one second. We're about to blow this tank up. No, bro, come on. Hurry, we gotta go, dude. The movie's waiting for us, buddy. It's gonna start. Hey! Are you happy now? High score. Oh, nice, dude. All right, let's go hit that movie, bro. Hurry. It's gonna be so good. Wait, what are we even seeing? Uh, I don't know. Breaking Point or Brookhaven Under Siege? I don't know. I'm just trying to have a fun movie, dude. It's just so nice in here. The air conditioning in here. It's absolutely... Uh, Todd? Uh, what the heck just happened? Why is there no movie? Um... Wait, and it's getting uh, hot in here. Did the power just go out? I was gonna say the out? same thing, bro. It's literally hot as heck now. Oh, I came here to avoid the heat, bro. Oh my gosh. All right, let's get out of here, bro. I guess that was such a bust. Dude, what the heck? We're at the best part. I know. I guess the movies aren't even working, bro. Well, it's all good, dude. Maybe we, we can go figure something else out, bro. Maybe, We're kind of like glowing in here. I know, kind of. We kind of are. No movie today, but it is hot now, but not too hot. Let's go get some ice cream. Ooh, that sounds great, bro. I'm in. Oh my gosh, bro. I mean, it's still hot out here, but it's definitely cooled down at least a bit, bro. Bro, I'm sweating through my shirt. It's still hot as heck out yeah, here. Yeah, it really is, bro. Well, we better go inside to get some ice cream. And whoa, what the? Wait, dude, who are these people? There's literally people out here that are having signs that says the freeze is coming. The crazy people alert. Uh, well, um, trust me, bro. There's no freeze coming, man. Like, tell that to my armpits. It's hot as heck outside. That's what I'm saying, bro. A freeze, pff, more like a, more like a heat is coming. The heat's here yeah. type vibe. Literally like heat wave alert. Wait, where? Hello? Where the heck is this? Hello? Who? Uh, I think we just like Apple Pay. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, of course. Brookhaven Pay works. Okay, well, I'll take a chocolate. Mm, and I'm going with bubblegum. Mm, nice, dude. Yeah. All right. Perfect. All right. We'll just have to swipe. Can you cover me? Yes, of course. I got you, buddy. Of course. Of course. There we go. Thanks, bro. No problem. All right. We're all good, bro. Let's get the crap out of here. Let's enjoy our ice cream while we can. What a beautiful... Oh, you're kidding me. They, Dude, they, they melted. Mine's literally melting like crazy. No, same. Mine's literally getting everywhere, bro. Dude, all right. I'm going to tell these people right now. My hand's going to be all sticky. A freeze is coming. More like a heat is coming. Get it? Because I said that in the ice cream shop. I thought that was yeah, funny. Yeah, tell that to my sticky hand, bro. Yeah, freeze is coming. Good one. What are these guys even talking about, bro? Oh, they actually think like a uh, cold plunge is coming because it's the hottest day. I've been seeing it all online. Ah, it's like one of those online things. Ah, yeah. Pfft. Probably bogus, dude. Ah, feels so nice with the AC, bro. So good. Dude, it is so nice outside. Come on outside. Nice outside, bro. It was literally just like 90, 95 degrees, bro. No, bro, it's literally cooling off finally. But like, bro, Ooh. come on. Like, literally, this is nice, wait, bro. Wait, this is actually really, wait, this is a good temp, bro. Hey, I got an idea. What do you say me and you hit the pool ski? Oh, little pool action, little pool schmoo. I'm Ooh, in, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, this is the pool. It's the perfect temperature now, bro. Dude, it's really kind of cooling down today, bro. A hundred and a hundred and ten to like. I got my polar shorts on already. That's crazy. It says it's seventy-five degrees outside. It was literally a hundred and ten this morning. That's a pretty uh, significant drop. 
Well, let's go have fun at the pool. All right, Todd, we're here. And dude, the, what the crap are those, bro? Those your goggles? Yeah, they're my swimming goggles, bro. Well, dude, no, they look good, bro. All right, well, hey, bro, it's a beautiful day out, bro. 75. All right, watch this jackknife, bro. A jackknife? What the crap is that even? Um, Toddy. I'm doing it in my shoes, too, by the way. Okay, yeah, good, good luck, buddy. <laughs> Oh my god. Whoa, dude, nice. I've been practicing. Thanks, bro. All right, let's get in. Cannonball. Oh, no. Um, I just jumped in my phone. Uh, awkward. Hopefully, it still works. Well, who cares? Let me just put it down. Cannonball over Todd. Woo! Hey, watch out. You almost kicked me in the face, bro. No, oh, but I didn't. It's okay. All right, I'm going to go down the slide. You ready, buddy? Watch this, dude. Oh. Yeah, I'm like, okay. Dude, watch out. There's tons of people here. Backward slide. Oh, whoa. Woo, that was a close call. I really almost hurt myself there. No lie. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. I, 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 oh, yo, I did not realize it was getting so bad outside, dude. It's, it's kind of freezing out here. It, it's, it's a little chilly, right? I, are you? Hold on. I'm going to put my shirt back on. This is really, really bad, bro. This guy said it's so cold. Dude, I couldn't agree more. It's got to be like 40 to 50 out here. It's freezing. Dude, let's get back home, bro. This is this is outrageous for June 1st. Dude, I'm literally, my hat's all wet. My socks are wet. Yeah, I know. Here, let's warm up my house, bro. We'll turn on the fireplace. This guy literally said heading home to a ward blanket. Dude, couldn't agree more, bro. Today's been a crazy weather day. Oh, I know, dude. It's dropped 60-ish degrees in a day let's just warm up oh dude we are finally warming up todd this is this I know. is crazy I had to borrow some of your clothes yeah dude no no worries on it bro i just can't fathom how it's gotten so cold so quick but to be completely real i, I maybe we just call it a day bro i could i could i could take you back home if you want bro oh uh, yeah i think that'd be a good idea bro let me start warming my car up from the app you know we could do that <laughs> All right, what? there we go. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. All right, it's warming up here. Let's get, let's just go outside for a second. Close that door, bro. What oh the heck? Dude, come on. I'm going to drive you. Let's go, dude. Jeez. Why do we go through the garage? There is no garage. All right, hurry, get in, bro. It's freezing. Oh, my God. Crank that heat up, bro. Yeah, no, for real, dude. All right, let's just get you home and we'll, we'll, we'll be good. Well, we'll, it'll be warm tomorrow, right? All right, bro. Made it home safe and sound for you, buddy. Don't worry, bro. Thank you, bro, for the ride. Jeez, if I walked back, it would have been horrible. No, I know. It was just so nice earlier to walk to the movies, but dude. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> yeah, stay warm, bro. I'm gonna get inside. I'm gonna go make a hot cola. Oh, a hot cola. Ew, brother. Ooh, that's okay. Well, anyways, guys, we just dropped off Todd. Let's just get back home to my crib. It's just from it being too hot that we had to go to the movies to now too cold to hit a pool in the same day is just outrageous. But I, I'm not going to over question it. And there's more protesters right over there. Very, very, very interesting. All right. Well, we just made it back home. I'll probably park over here this time. I usually like to <laughs> usually like to park it over there just to get a good walk in. It's so nice out, right? But not anymore. All right. Well, let's turn on the news forecast for tomorrow and see what the weather is possibly going to be like. This should help give a bunch of clear answers. Hey, everybody. My name is Jay Boblo, and welcome back to Brookhaven News. And we're going to bring this one over because everyone's questioning, why is it so cold? Why is it so cold? Well, I'm not the weather man. My brother is, so... Oh, I'm sorry. Presenting Barry Boblo, my brother. Thank you, Jay. It is looking like it's going to be a beautiful... Uh, scratch that. Um, Actually, we're not too sure what the weather is going to be like going forward in Brookhaven. Uh, I guess we'll just have to see, folks. See, my brother doesn't even know. Like, guys, like, why is everyone getting mad at me for not... You know what? <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> Apologies. Thank you so much, Brookhaven. Have a great rest of your night. Me and Barry out. Best brothers out. Weird. They literally don't even know what it's going to be like. Usually they can predict pretty well. I, I'm, I, I'd assume. I'd assume. I guess I'm just going to probably put on a little bit of a jacket for tonight. Keep my fireplace on, obviously. It's getting really dark out. So I guess we'll just see uh, what the weather's going to be like tomorrow. It's probably just going to be another really hot day. I, I, I assume. I know it. Good morning, Brookhaven. It is freezing outside. Let me just go outside and feel how cold it is, guys. Seriously. Let me just go out here. Let's open the front door and let's... <laughs> Is that snow? No, it, it can't be. Oh my gosh, let me get back inside, guys. It is freezing outside. Holy crap. I've it's it's freezing. It's June 2nd, and it is so cold. Hold on, let me check the weather on my phone, guys. Let me see what it says. It says it's 30 degrees outside. No, no, this this can't be real. Let me go back outside. Let me get a photo for my fans, guys. This is just outrageous. Hey, happy snow day, I guess, guys. Um, make sure you stay inside and don't go out. I'll go out for a little bit, but this is not. I'm, uh, anyway, scrap, scratching that video. No, that, that sucked. Let me just get back inside, guys, and let me just call him Todd, I guess. Let me see what he thinks of all this. Yo, buddy, um, have you checked outside today? Snow day! Oh, and he... 
hung up. Okay, well, let's just go drive in the city and see what people have to think of this. Maybe maybe there's something fun happening. Let me go get on some clothes, though. All right, guys. Well, let's just go outside. Let's lock my door. It is definitely cold outside. Definitely. But I got my hat on. I got my jacket. I got my pants. But let's just go drive around the city and just see what's going on, guys. It is literally cloudy out. It's snowy out. The whole city of Brookhaven is engulfed in snow. Okay, well, let me just keep driving around, guys. And wait a minute. I... I see more people with those signs. Okay, hold on. Let me just pull over real quick into Brooks Diner. Let me just kind of go around. There's no one out right now. It is completely dead in Brookhaven. Okay, let me just take up that spot right there. Let's go talk to these guys and let's see what they have to say about this. I mean, they're kind of calling it, right? All right, let me just say, uh, hey, I saw y'all yesterday. This is super, this is super confusing, right? Like, are, you, are you guys sure like that? This is not just like a weird conspiracy that you guys may have just like predicted like a one-off event. It, this is this is weird. And the guy just said, no one is safe. And the girl over here just said, don't you get it? I, I I, really don't. It was just so hot. In fact, like super hot. It was literally the hottest day ever. And the girl just said, none of this is a coincidence. Whoa, holy crap. The roads are icy as crap, bro. That car just went flying. Hope he's okay. He said, this is what happens when the sun hits its hottest temperature. Everything starts to go cold. So it's going to get colder no, 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 no. It, it can't be. You're saying something about the sun and how it's been hotter, but I don't even see the sun in the sky, guys. Where is it? The girl said, not just cold, the coldest. Okay, this is getting a little bit weird. I am going to just uh, get back in my car. And you know what? I'm going to go to Starbucks, guys. I'm going to go pick up a hot latte and warm up because this is just kind of stressing me out. And I think maybe a, a nice relaxation would be nice because it's, again, 30 degrees. I lived in Chicago my entire life. Brookhaven is fine. I could do this. All right, let's just pull up real Real quick, let's just park around. And oh my gosh, guys, that cyber truck from earlier. These things can really take a hit. That's good to know. Well, let's just go in and let's order up some stuff. Okay, we got this guy in front of me. Eight dollars? Since when? You're taxing. Oh my god, wait. Yo, Todd, it's me, Poke. I didn't even see you with that hat on. Oh, hey, bro, what's up? Yeah, I'm all bundled up, bro. You probably didn't even recognize me. No, dude, literally, I... <laughs> It's, uh, it's cold, you know? Really cold. Here you go, ma'am. Eight bucks. Jeez, Starbucks is getting pricey, bro. Yeah, I, I don't even know why I come here still. But, dude, bottom line is, bro, how, how was your snow day? You having, a, you having a good day? Oh, my God, bro. The snow day has been so lit so far. I was out there, but it started to get, like, colder. So then I went in before it made me a snowman. Yeah, it's definitely getting a little uh, chillier outside. You know, bro, I'm actually going to ask her real quick. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. What's the temp in here? Because even in here it's a little bit chilly it's but this is because they got this door wide open i know the door is really wide open for some reason do they not prepare for stuff like this she just said oh it's about 65 fahrenheit in here that's that's pretty cold for inside a, a room how cold is it outside our generator is running at max right now but outside it's 22 degrees 22 degrees it was 30 degrees not even an hour ago getting cold eight degrees the freeze is coming it's very interesting because it's getting colder and colder oh my gosh a freeze is coming. Todd, come with me right now. We gotta go. What? Where are we going? Come on, get in my car. I have no time to explain. What the heck has gotten into you, bro? Todd, listen, I know I'm freaking out right now, but it's getting colder and colder, and it's not stopping to get colder and colder. It's gonna keep getting colder until it's freezing, like freezing, freezing. So let's go to the grocery store and let's stock up on supplies. Uh, uh, do you wanna live at your house or my house, bro? I know I'm overreacting. I swear. Why do you talk? You're scaring me, bro. Like, Here. you're really overreacting about this whole freezing thing. Grab it's so hot snow, foods. right? Grab hot foods only. Only hot foods, bro. And fruits obviously we need our vitamins okay grab fine. a cart grab i'm getting one i know i'm freaking out right now todd but i know what's coming dude i've been in this i I've, i have this i have this i have a vision bro i have a vision where's the checkout lady see it's i'm telling you they're not even here bro uh okay um well dude like you're freaking oh my God. out man okay, okay. Gra grab another cola for me okay todd there's no one here let's just bag it up ourselves bro um all right well are you sure this is fine i don't want to be stealing i i, I promise you it would not be stealing if I knew that it wasn't something crazy on the line. Dude, it's only going to get colder, bro. Should I be worried? Should I stock up on some more cola? No, I'd grab another if I were you. Okay. Oh my god, Todd. What the crap just happened, bro? Dude, drive careful. Do you see the roads? I know. It's horrible. I can barely see out here. This is what I'm talking about, bro. Ch check the weather on your phone. Turn what your is lights it? on. Okay, they're on. Jeez. Jeez, bro. We really can't see anything oh out here. It's a red light. You know, I'm, I'm going through it, bro. I don't even care. We have to get home, Todd. It's getting worse and worse. Ch check your phone. What's the temperature outside? Right now, it says that it is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. It's getting colder and colder, buddy. It was just 20 degrees, literally not even like two minutes ago. Hey, we're so close, bro. Wait, Todd? Yo, get us. Come on, what the heck? Dude, my car, it's not turning back on. I, I think it's What's getting too on, cold. Bro? 
What? All right, well, luckily we're right here. We can just walk. Okay, it's really bad out, though. It's The wind is really coming down. We got to run for it, buddy. These jeeps are not aerodynamic. Come on, Todd. All right, let's just run for it. Come on. Todd, it's bad out here. Let's go, Todd. The freeze is coming. <laughs> come, yeah! come on. Todd, no. Punk! Punk! Todd, you're getting swept by the blizzard. No. Oh, my God. Todd, I, I got to get inside, guys. I got to get inside or I'll be next. Oh, my gosh. I have to save him. The freeze has started. No, guys. Oh, my gosh. It is so bad out here. It's literally freezing. But Todd, no. My best friend was just swept away in the storm. That did not just happen. Okay, we just need to relax and calm down. Let's check the news and let's see what's going on. Let's see what the, the temperature is outside. This is getting wild. Hello, Brookhaven. My name is Jay Boblo here with an emergency news channel 11 news. Brookhaven is undergoing a freeze. It is currently... Oh, it's going lower and lower. Okay, well, it was zero. Now it's negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit outside. We think it's going to be getting colder and colder. So please stay inside and make sure. Oh my gosh, it's freezing outside. It's legit negative 10. My car is out there all broken and messed up. So there goes my transportation. And my car went out. My engine is too cold. Who knows how long it's going to be till my house powers out. Should have listened to those stupid protesters. They were literally right. I don't know why I didn't listen to them. Okay, Brookhaven's frozen. Nothing I can do to stop the freeze, but I can search for Todd. But going out into Brookhaven is going to be probably one of the most dangerous things that I could do right now. I just wonder. Would Todd go out there and look for me? Or would he just watch from the window as well? Scared. All right, it is officially go time. Let's go find our best friend, Todd. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, guys, it is freezing outside. It is so cold. Holy smokes. And if I think about it, it's negative 10 degrees, which means I probably have maybe a good 25 minutes out here until I get frostbite and hypothermia. Oh my gosh, there's literally cars that are just abandoned on the side of the streets. Todd, Todd, where are you? Oh my gosh, guys, he's nowhere to be found. There's legit cars. There's even police cars over there with wheels off. Holy crap. This city's going through it. Oh my gosh, and something I've never really seen before, but there are doors on every single building. Everything is closed. And it's always so nice here that they leave the doors open all the time, but not today. Okay, well, let's just keep walking. Oh, it's so bad out. I really see a girl over there. Oh my gosh. Seems like she just broke into the postal office, so hopefully she's getting warm in there, but guys... I don't think money plays are gonna have electricity soon. Oh, oh. Okay, well, we are close to Todd's house, so let's just go up here and let's see if Todd's here. This is literally a snowplow truck and it's out of service. It's too bad and too intense for those things. All right, guys, we just made it to Todd's house, so hopefully he's in here. Let's just go in right now and let's take a look. All right, we're breaking in, guys. Todd, oh, the lights are literally off, guys, and cops is on, so at least he does have some power, but thank goodness, it's a little bit warmer in here. Todd, are you in here, buddy? Where are you at? Wait a minute. His fridge is open. That must mean that maybe he was here and he grabbed a Coca-Cola? This is like a clue. We go upstairs. Todd, Roblox is open as well. Okay. It could have been on the last time before, you know, we hung out before the hottest day ever. If that fridge is open, there's no way he'd let a Coca-Cola go warm. This is the perfect clue right here. All right, guys, Todd is in here, but let's get the heck out of here and see if we can find him maybe somewhere else. Holy crap, guys. Okay. I have an idea. Since Todd isn't there, if I get a full scoop of Brookhaven, maybe we'll be able to see where this guy is. So I'm going to go in the police station. I don't think anyone's in here. It's absolutely freezing in here, by the way. And let's go all the way up. Up to the roof and let's just kind of maybe look around the city of brookhaven and see if he's taking place anywhere around here nothing over there nothing in breakfast or public <laughs> jeez it's getting colder out here i can feel it nothing over there it's so hard to see wait a minute guys i see i see people wait a minute there's people in there maybe todd's in there guys let's go hurry i literally forgot that i'm standing on ice pretty much right here the pool is frozen over guys they're literally hanging out above the starbrooks in the brookhaven shelter i knew it maybe todd's in here guys all right maybe todd will be in here and it's literally all covered up so hold on let me just try to knock on the door real quick Oh my gosh, okay, they're letting me in. Hello? Holy crap, guys, look in here. They have food, they have benches, they have a bunch of chairs, they have a fire, which holy gosh, do I need that fire right now? And this guy just said, who's there? Another survivor. Let me just let him know right now. My name is Poke. I've been looking for my best friend. But clearly, guys, he is not here. I do not see him anywhere. And this girl just said, I can't believe someone else survived besides us. Yeah, I'm just so glad to be around fire and and people honestly oh guys this fire feels so good 
This guy just said this whole thing is a disaster. And he just said, how did you survive? I kind of called it early. I wasn't out, but it was cold enough to know. And now I'm actually almost curious. What do y'all think happened here? Like seriously, take a look around here. This is not normal. It was the hottest day. It is June 2nd, by the way, if anyone is curious. And this girl just said, I think the world is ending. Honestly, great guess. And this guy said, snow in June seems out to me. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. This almost couldn't even seem like it's a natural disaster. Like, could be something worse. And the guy said, this is a blizzard like no other. They said, it's only going to get worse. I mean, this girl just spoke up and she said, well, I did hear about something. I guess there was this scientist that made videos about the freeze, like months before anything happened, but no one listened. If they know a little bit about this, maybe they know how to maybe stop this. And said, there's no one that knew this would happen. That's all Brookhaven News propaganda. Anybody can call something like this. And if they're smart enough, maybe they can fix it. And this guy said, you really believe those videos? And she's literally saying, I'm just saying like, yeah, I, I mean, hey, let's let her talk, honestly. Do you know where this scientist is located? Because if we know where this scientist is, maybe we can talk to them, figure out what's going on. They say that is across Brookhaven. But you know, at this point, I have nothing to lose. My best friend is out there and I know I need to find him. And maybe if I find this scientist, I can fix this and then find and save Todd. And this guy just said, I'm not going out there. No way. I will. I will go out there. But if it's across Brookhaven, I can't walk. And the guy just said, it's too dangerous. I can't do this, guys. I mean, honestly, I'm not able to walk across Brookhaven. I will freeze, especially how cold it's been getting. And this girl just said, but wait, don't we have a working snowmobile? Ah, do we? Oh my God. It's so cold. Oh, it's so, so cold, so cold. Okay. You guys should get back up there. I feel really, really bad. All right. You said it's across Brookhaven, right? It's probably right next to Todd house or something. And this person just said, good luck, Poke. Don't freeze to death. They said, good luck. Find your friend. I'm going to do more than find my friend. I'm going to save Brookhaven. Let's find this scientist, guys. We just got to get out of here the snowmobile and we are off, guys. And this thing honestly works really well out here. Oh, it's so cold though. Okay, guys, across town. That's fine. We're just going to go over here and hopefully find it. Oh my gosh, guys. It is so cold. To be honest, I don't even know where this lab is. I'm still looking around. Okay, maybe I'll just go over here, maybe across town, maybe like literally all the way across town and... Car lights, they're they're still on. Wait a minute, what's going on in here? Wait a minute, is there someone in the Holy smokes! It's Todd! Todd, it's me! Todd! It's me! Oh my gosh, Todd! Open the door now! Hi can't open the door, bro. It's frozen. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, just give me a second. Hold on. I'm just going to ram into this car and I'm going to break the ice. Oh, all right. Here goes nothing. Uh, uh. It's breaking. All right. One more. Here we go. Todd smash. Todd, get back up now. Let's go. Come on. I can't believe you're okay. I took shelter in that car, bro, because I couldn't get back to my house. The wind was too bad. Oh my gosh. So someone else raided your Coca-Cola then. What? My, my Coca-Cola I mean, gone. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Here. Let's just get you inside real quick. Let's warm you up. Come on. Here. Who Come is in the here? Fire. here turn, the cops? Turn on your fireplace. I know. I, I thought this was you. Just warm up, buddy. Tell me. Just t slow down. What happened? How? What happened? Oh my God, bro. Jeez, I got that shiver, bro. Dude, I, you look, you're looking so much better, bro. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay, Todd. Tell me, what happened after you got swept away by the storm? Dude, first off, I like blew away for like a mile. I was blowing all over Brookhaven like a tumbleweed. Oh my God. And then I ended up near that car because the wind finally gave out, but I couldn't get close enough to my house. So I took shelter in that car and eventually the door froze so I couldn't get out. Well, good thing you were in a nice Tesla. Holy smokes, that's crazy. Shout out Elon Musk, bro. That thing was huge. Well... The good news is, is you're okay. You're near the fire, but we got some bad news, Todd. It's colder, bro. I can tell, bro. What's happening? The freeze. Apparently, I found a shelter and they said something about how there's a lab nearby and that the scientist has been working on this. They're, the scientist has been predicting this for months now. But if me and you go there, maybe we can find out how to stop this thing once and for all. Similar to like the protesters, you think it's actually like related to that stuff they're talking about? All that hocus pocus? I think the hocus pocus was... No hocus jocus. I think it was real, man. What? You warm up for a little bit. Like maybe we watch some cops, but I'd say in about an hour or two, we head out, but we can't wait too long. It's only going to get colder. Okay, bro. Fine. Give me a few minutes and I'm down. All right, Todd. Are you ready to almost go, bro? Yeah. Let me get this hot coal out the microwave. Mm. Mm. Helps me warm up, bro. You want one? Um, yeah, actually I do. <laughs> All right. Hot cola. Let's Ew! Oh my god, ew! What? You don't like it? That's impossible. Just burn my tongue, dude, and it tastes kind of like, uh... 
let's just get out of here. Todd, we legit do not have much time. It is that cold out here. Dude, we're already blue. Okay, it's fine. Let's just look around. Okay, that's where you do were. Do we even know where we're going? No, I have no idea. They just said it was somewhere around here, bro. We're gonna die out here. No, it's okay. We're not. We have minutes. It's getting really, really bad. I don't want to be an icicle, bro. I don't want to freeze. They said it was we're across be, like, town. Frozen statues. Okay, hold on. Let me turn the speed. Oh my god, now the wind's really in our face, bro. I know. The wind's really bad, but don't worry, we're gonna find it. We're gonna get there quicker now. Oh my god, it's so cold. It's so cold. Dude, I don't see it anywhere. Me neither. It must be on the other side. Good thing this thing is flying in the snow, though. <sighs> flying. I feel like I'm going to become a snowman in a second. Look at the city, bro. It's destroyed. It's ruined. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. that was really close. Sorry, bro. This thing Can is it really... Can me off? No, it's getting really icy. Okay, it's okay. We have to be there soon, Please bro. Please drive carefully, bro. I will, I will, I will. Wait, hold on. Wait, this must be it. Wait, this must be it. This looks like a lab. Wait, yeah, this has to be the laboratory, bro. Okay, Dude, wait, let's pull up and get inside is, right this now. This is it? Wait, it's boarded up. Uh, okay, hold uh, on, just sneak gotta, under crawl it. Crawl in, crawl in, yeah. Yeah, crawl in. Let's just go on in. Oh my gosh, I barely feel my fingers. <laughs> it is like, it's like ice cold in here, bro. You know, like that, like dead cold where like you walk in a room and there's like, it's freezing. It just feels like the moon. It just feels like no, no atmosphere. Okay, it's okay. We're in the laboratory. This is definitely it. We have to look for the scientists, bro. They have to be around here somewhere. Hurry. Okay, I'm gonna go look at microbiology. Okay, yeah, go look at microbiology. I'm gonna go downstairs. Wait a minute, Todd, Todd. It's actually warmer down here, bro. Hurry, get down here. Okay, there's nothing in micro bibliography. I'm just gonna go with the hunch that you were too cold to say it. But on the bright side, Todd, take a look. There's someone in here. Oh my God, there's someone in there. What the heck? Lab directions. This is it, Todd. This is the scientist that some, the shelter was telling me about. Let's just talk to her and see if she knows anything. Excuse us. Sorry to break in, but we want to help. Yo, lady, I'm freezing. Todd, be nice. She said, whoa, why are you blue? Oh, I don't know. Because it's negative 40 degrees outside. Frostbite, lady. You got a heater in here? She said, quick, come with me to the heat accelerator. Oh, oh that sounds oh, nice. That sounds brutally nice. Yeah, I'm wait. coming. I'm sprinting. I'm down for that. Where the heck is that? Oh. Oh, that is nice. Ah, feels so good. Oh my God. We got to get one of these for our crib. I know, right? How much does this thing go for? She said, now, why did you come here? Shelter people told me you've known. That's why the mob of people kept saying the freeze is coming. They weren't crazy. They were informed early. We couldn't even believe those people, bro. Who would have thought they were right? Right? This whole time she knew? She said yes, but no one believed me. And now look at Brookhaven now. I know, ma'am. And that's why we're here. We're here because we want to help. We want to figure out what happened because it's June 2nd and we want to enjoy our summer. But my one big question is, was the freeze natural? She said the freeze is not entirely natural. Not natural? Like ghosts? Kinda. A failed experimental weather modification technology which I had opposed to the Brookhaven agency. Holy crap, so this is an experiment? A failed experiment? A one gone wrong? What the heck is a modification tech technology? It means that we're, we're screwed, but it's okay. We're gonna figure this out. So a weather modification failed. Why would you mess with mother nature? It just doesn't make sense. So the technology was meant to combat climate change, but it went horribly wrong. Holy crap creating a chain reaction to the deep freeze. Poke, can you explain to me in Fortnite terms? The storm was artificially created. Oh my God. But we have even worse news. Oh, it can't get worse than that. Todd, I'm so scared, man. I just wanted to have a nice day at the movies, go to the pool. Me too, bro. This was such a dope day until, oh, this freeze. This just can't be. Please don't, I don't even want to hear it. How could it be worse? Wait, whoa, what's going on? Hello, Brookhaven. We, we, got, we got the signal back on for one final message. We have bad news. The Brookhaven main power plant, which has been messed up by the freeze, is on the verge of a catastrophic failure. If it explodes, it'll release a massive amount of energy, significantly worse than the freeze, and freezing everybody instantly into an ice cube. The plant has roughly 59 minutes until it explodes. Brookhaven, please just stay safe and remember, don't go to Starbucks because- Oh my gosh, this what? can't be- what? A, a freeze- a, a freeze bomb, pretty much? Todd, don't get up, it's okay! Scientist, please, we have to figure this out. <gasps> did he say we're gonna freeze instantly? He did. Oh. One hour, what are we gonna do? Oh, one hour, one hour, we have one hour. I don't please, wanna scientist, freeze. Scientist, please, scientist, you have to help. Just saying, calm down. Okay. Todd, let's just, let's just man up right now. Smack me! Ah, said, I have a plan. So, in Fortnite terms, if we touch the storm, we instant die? There's no ticking of the storm. 
that's Fortnite terms for us. We would just instantly KO. No. I know. And I feel it's already, it's even getting colder down here, bro. It must be legit negative 50 up there at this point. I know, bro. My fingers and my toes, I feel like I'm freezing from the top. The scientist just said, I'm going to use the energy from the impending explosion to power my countermeasure on a scale way bigger than what was originally intended. Okay, now I might need Fortnite terms. Uh, let me explain, bro. She's going to use the unavoidable explosion to reverse the freeze? I actually think that's cor correct. Why have I been telling you Fortnite terms? <laughs> you literally, anyways, that's right, I think. That's a good idea. That's that's a really good idea. She said it's a risky gamble as the timing has to be perfect. Perfect? What if it's not perfect? Too early and the countermeasure won't have enough power. Too late and the explosion will devastate everything and Brookhaven, as we know, will be gone. <laughs> But the question is, can I trust you two to do it? Uh, uh no. Yes. I mean, oh, uh, uh, yes. No. Wait, uh, uh, yes, we're, we're in. We want, we want to do this. Yeah, we'll do it. We don't have much time. We need to hit the power plant in 59 minutes or else Brookhaven will be hit by the freeze bomb. She's right, Todd. We have no time. We have to save the world. Uh, bro, this is so stressful, bro. I don't want to be frozen. I know, but th the issue is it's, let me, let me, let me let them know right now. Dr. M, how cold is it outside? That's the issue, Todd. If me and you go out there, bro, we could just freeze instantly. Oh, I don't want to freeze instantly. It's okay. We're going to be okay. Maybe she's got some like a uh, cool North Face technology, right? Some cool, like a nice coat or something. Oh, that would be cool. She said it's negative 50 degrees out. Dude. <sighs> Negative 50 degrees? There's no way I'm going out there in that, bro. I, I, I can't do this. I mean, we don't we don't have much time, though, bro. We have under an hour. We have to get to this now, bro. We have to get to the power plant. So if you stand out there right now, you will freeze instantly. And how can we do this? Dr. Morgan, this is just, this is not real. I think maybe, Todd, we just sit down and we just enjoy our last hour drinking nice cola or I don't know. Are you out of your mind, bro? Heck no, I'm not doing that. We gotta do something. Dr. M, there has to be a way that we could do this, please. Come here. I'll give you two some new warm experimental technology to withstand the temperatures. Oh, what the heck are you talking about? I don't like the word experimental and technology next to each other, bro. I'm good on that, bro. Said, just trust me. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. We got this, Todd. Um, yeah. All right. Well, can we see what it is first? Yeah, exactly. She said, come here. All right, Todd. We'll be okay, buddy. Oh, God, where's she taking specimen storage? Oh, God. What the heck does she use all these cages for? I know, dude. This is sus, bro. What the crap is going on a here? a weird vibe in here. Yeah, dude. No, for real, bro. And then we got another specimen storage room right here. Whoa, it's a little bit chilly in here, honestly. Not as bad as outside. No, not even close. Oh, yeah. Said it's in here, right here. Drink this. Drink that? That's, is, it, is that glowing? It's literally glowing, lady. I'm not drinking that. Todd, I, I don't know, man. I, I say we both grab it and we just... Oh, what, what do you say, bro? We treat it like a cola? Here. She said it will protect you from the harsh cold. Just drink it. See, then we'll be good, bro. We'll be immune. All right, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Tastes like Colgate. Wait, I'm feeling Whoa. warm though. Wait a minute. Holy. Wait, wait I'm feeling. Oh. Wait, I'm feeling. Um. Oh. Wait, no, dude. I'm taking this. I'm taking this clothes off, bro. I feel warm. Oh my gosh. I do not need that hat, bro. Oh my God. I'm actually. Whew, I feel the. Whew, I need to take my hat uh, off that's too, what bro. I'm Dang. Saying, man, you have another hat on actually under that hat. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I'm double hat. Of course. Yeah. Well, she said, do you feel it? Yes, we do. We feel warm. I, I feel like a brand new person, bro. I need to put on my t-shirt, bro. Dang, my pits are sweaty. Wait, Todd, we can actually do this, bro. We're warm. We're immune. Heck yeah, we can do it, bro. We're literally like uh, superheroes right yeah, now. Yeah, right? We're like the opposite of Frozone, bro. We're like on right now, you know? We're like yeah, hot we're zone. Like the, we're like the flame. We're like the, we're like the flame. We're like the hot flame. But wait, she just said the issue is you only have 30 minutes till the effects wear off. Uh, oh, I'm putting my coat back on. Yeah, then. right? 30 minutes isn't much time, Todd. To be honest, that gives us maybe just enough time to get in the power plant and we'll be lucky if the heat is still on in there. Oh my God. All right, bro. Well, I'm starting to think we got to move quick. I know. That's what I'm saying. Dr. M, are you ready? Oh my God, guys. She's got the drink. She said, ready. Crew, let's roll out and let's save Brookhaven from the freeze. Oh, well, guys, we are officially outside. And honestly, Todd, I don't feel that cold at all, bro. Dude, honestly, me either, bro. It's pretty nice out. Yeah, right? I feel like, you want to go like swimming later or something? Like, I feel warm, bro. Uh, I think the water is literally frozen solid, but... Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. And, and Dr. Morgan just said it's getting worse. I know, but luckily, guys, the power plant is just over that way. It's not even that far. So we should just honestly start walking, bro. Let's just kind of... Oh, um... I, I think I'm oh. stuck. Oh, God. Oh, it's oh, deep. I'm sinking. No, no, yeah, get back, get back, get back. Oh, God, it's got to be at least like three feet of snow, bro. That's crazy. I know, bro. It's just been piling up for the last day. We may be able to survive the cold, but cannot survive getting trampled and not breathing, you know? She said, I have an idea. I have snowmobiles. Oh, oh. 
Perfect, oh, Dr. Morgan. Easy peasy, then we can get there in a second with those. Okay, she said it's over here. All right, sounds good. All right, we got to trudge through the snow just a little bit, bro. Oh my gosh. Ah, ah, jeez. Oh my God, there they are, the snowmobiles. Perfect, I call blue. I'm sinking. Come on, Todd. On the red one. Just get to the other one. Come on, you got to jump, ah. jump. Nice. Let's go, dude. Okay, all right, let's head to the power plant, bro. Let's do this. Woo. This is actually kind of fun, oh, wait, Loki. Wait, wait, Todd! I'm up, to my, I'm up to my neck in snow, bro! Oh my god, Todd! Todd, Todd, Todd! Jump on mine! Jump on mine! Oh, oh thank goodness you got out of these that. These things are powerful. Dude, these things are crazy, bro. Look at Brookhaven, bro. You can't even see down there, bro. You don't even know that we're in a city anymore. But it's all good, Todd, because luckily, we already made it, bro. We're already at the power plant. That was the easiest mission we've ever done, bro. Okay, get me out of that snow, bro. No, for real. All right, let's go. Um, Let's, let's go. Let's uh, open the door, bro. What the I, heck are you I'm doing? I'm trying to open the door. Dr. Morgan, what are we missing? I said, oh, I forgot about the key card. Dr. Morgan, that was important info. Key card? It's okay. Where would the key card be? Okay, well, let's think about this. This is owned by Brookhaven Electric. And yep, okay. So if we think about Brookhaven Electric and we think about... Oh, she said it's at the mayor's office. That's all the way across Brookhaven. I know that's not good at all, bro. That's a minute away, bro. Who knows? Maybe the snow is even worse over there. We're like kind of on the edge. This could be really bad, Todd. I don't bro, know if we're gonna have gonna enough time. That's gonna be like another like 20 minutes round trip. We gotta go now if it's in the mayor's office. What if someone else already got it? Oh my God. What if someone already took it? Hurry. She said, let's go. We need to hurry before it snow snows over the entire building. She's right, Todd. Ah! We don't have much time. We've got to go. To the city hall we go. All right, well, we are officially in the city of Brookhaven. And Todd, I don't know about you, bro, but I'm feeling warm, but it's kind of getting a little chilly, bro. Like, I almost feel like that, it's 60 bro. Yeah, degrees. like I'm starting to kind of feel it again. Yeah, def definitely a little bit. Dr. Morgan, how much time do we have? She just said I could barely see... Guys, honestly, look at there's cars everywhere. They're all white. They're covered in snow and ice. And oh my gosh, guys, even Brooks Diners closed down, man. It's over, bro. It's so over. They never close, literally 24 7. I know. And there's a bunch of signs here that say stay inside. Please stay inside. And Dr. Morgan said we have five minutes until our potion wears off. So, Todd, we need to hurry now, bro. Like, we need a speed run. All right, dude. My snowmobile's moving a little slow. I know, dude. It's okay, bro. We got this. We're good. We're almost here. We're pulling up right now, bro. Let's just go in. We should be all okay. <laughs> Hurry, get inside. And honestly, the light's on in here. It's actually kind of a decent temp in here. Not too bad. Dude, this place is like nothing even happened. Yeah, what the crap is going on? The hospital's done for, but this isn't. All right, well, we're at the mayor's office. Let's just get in and get what we need, guys. All right? There he is. Mayor Kyle. He said, what are you doing in my office? Mayor Kyle, we know how to save Brookhaven, we just need your electrical grid card. I said, you what? Yes, we know how to save Brookhaven. Dr. Morgan, please tell him more. She said, we don't have time. Give us your key card. And he said, electric grid card. I don't have it. We know you do. Stop lying, Todd. Try to convince him. Listen to me, Mayor Kyle. All right, bro. You owe me, all right? After everything you've put me through, give me the dang key card. Okay, he said, uh, I yeah, we back up. Keep keep confronting him, bro. Yeah, keep backing yeah. up. Morgan, hey, go on the other give me side. That dang key card. I bet you got it in your pocket. Here, let me I got yes. it. Yes, dude. Why? He he it. It. Oh my god, he literally you had little it. Little liar, Mayor Kyle, bro. It's not my fault you never grew to be one. Yeah, exactly, bro. You're just a point nine size, buddy. All right, and then you always will be. So listen, no, you're not getting that key card back, buddy. He wants it back. Listen, why are you no, being so skeptical? No, you're not getting it back. We gotta go. Yeah, you're being so skeptical for no reason. All right, we got. We don't have much time. We gotta go. Mayor Kyle, no. I don't know why he lied about that, Todd. Me either, but like, now that we got it, we gotta be quick. Exactly, bro. We have maybe like three, four minutes until we're gonna freeze, bro. We gotta hurry. Oh, God, Todd. Todd, I'm getting really cold. Me too. Oh, my God, this thing needs to speed up, dude. Oh, my God. I'm getting so cold, bro. It's actually wearing off right now, bro. We gotta go in here ASAP. All right, everyone ready? Everyone ready? Let's do this. And it says right now, low voltage mainframe unavailable. Doctor, what does this mean? The freeze is causing the mainframe to collapse. Oh, God, dude. She's right, bro. We really don't have much time. And you know what? That potion wore off. We can't even go outside anymore, bro. It's official. She said we need to hurry underground. Okay, underground. All right, Todd. Let's do this thing, bro. See you in the basement. Here we go. Holy crap, bro. We're officially in. This is it, the power plant. It's so creepy down here, and it's, it smells like smoke. I know. It smells really bad down here, but it's at least it's a little bit warmer in here. Dr. Morgan, what's our plan? What do we do? She just said we need to hurry. Look around. All right, sounds good. Let's look, look, look around up here. Let's see if there's anything weird or suspicious that's going on. There's like literally like bedrooms in here. It's kind of like a bunker, man. Uh, I think I see something. Wait, what do you see? I don't know, but it doesn't look too good. Holy crap. Dr. Morgan, we found what we're looking for. It's downstairs. Holy crap, what could this be, guys? Okay, we're just in this interesting room with a lot of tech and explosives. Are those what I think they are? Oh my God, that's the Brookhaven power plant behind it. It doesn't look like it's doing too good, bro. It's smoking like crazy, half it's on fire. I know, it's bad. 
And Dr. Morgan said, I knew it. I knew it was his doing. Who? What? Who are you talking about? What do you mean his doing? Dr. Morgan, you're not making sense. Did you know who did this? She said, yes, it was my ex-partner. She just said, shh, I think he's here. Todd, you think there's someone else here? Uh, Watch out! Uh, 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 I'm awake. Uh, Todd, are you awake? Uh, what the heck? Who hit me? I don't know, bro. I, I got hit as well. And, and Dr. Morgan sitting next to us too. And oh my God, look in front of us, bro. That's, that's the guy. He said, well, well, well. Looks like you're awake. He said, hun, why did you leave me at the altar? Oh my gosh, no way. What? What? And he said, I thought we were partners. You were gonna marry this guy? This was gonna be your husband? And he said, I thought we shared a dream to make the world as it should be. She said, you're insane. We're all gonna freeze. Exactly, bro, please. I promise you, you don't wanna do this. Bro, you better let me out of this. I'm, you better. You better, bro, or else you're done for. We're all done for. We're all gonna freeze. You're gonna freeze too. She said, I will never share your crazy dreams. And he said, oh, ha. Huh? Oh, I do. I want it. Why do you want the world to freeze? He said, why? Why do I want this? Bro, keep stalling him. Oh, oh, okay. What do I want to freeze? To freeze time. Oh my God, what is Todd doing? Everything needs to start anew. They need to freeze forever. <gasps> hey, get out of here, bro. Holy Todd, you broke out of there with the cola can. Yeah, let me cut you guys free real quick while he's knocked out. Oh my God, we don't have much time, bro. We maybe have like a good minute left. Okay, hold on, I got Dr. Morgan. Okay, okay. Dr. Morgan, start ah. stabilizing the machine. Perfect. Dude, thank you. Dr. Morgan, fix all of this, please. Dr. Morgan, we don't have much time. Please, Dr. Morgan, hurry. Oh my God, Todd, he's up. Whoa. Hey, hey. Ah! He said, everyone stop. This needs to happen. Have you lost your mind, bro? You're going to freeze Brookhaven and everyone with it. Please, she needs to do this. Oh my God, it's going off. One of the bombs is going off. He said, no, the freeze must happen. We have 20 yeah, seconds hurry. left. Dr. Morgan. Oh my God. Oh my God, Dr. Morgan, you're doing something. Whoa. Ah, no, Dr. Dr. Morgan. Dr. Morgan. No! He said it burns! He was hit with something! She literally just poured all that stuff on him! 15 seconds! Oh my god, Dr. Morgan, we have 10 seconds left! What's the code? The code is 2418. 2418! I... I did it! There's... It didn't explode! We... We did it, Wait. Todd! We, we did, did it! it! We did it! Oh my god, let's go outside, bro! We did it! Oh my god, we actually did do it! We saved everyone in Brookhaven! Wait, yellow snowmobile! Dr. Morgan! Oh my god, Dr. Morgan! We have to save her! Dr. Morgan! No, Dr. Morgan! Dr. Morgan, we saved Brookhaven! We need to go now! I got her, bro! Let's get her to the hospital, quick! You're gonna be okay, Dr. Morgan, I promise! Hey, you think she knows we're coming? Uh, I don't know, bro. Uh, I think it's gonna be a good surprise. You're right, exactly. Oh my god, Dr. Morgan! Hey, Dr. Morgan! Hey, she said hi, you two! Hi. Look Glad. what I got you. Oh my God, Todd, you got her flowers. That's so nice, man. Ah, I just wanted her to feel better. Really though, that's so sweet. Glad you're feeling better, Dr. Morgan. You know, just wanna let you know, you saved us. Without you- You saved Brookhaven. Yeah, you saved us as in Brookhaven. You saved the whole world. Dr. Morgan, you're a hero. And no, you two did. You're the heroes. Well, I'd say all three of us are a good hero trio, right? Am I right? Let's be real here. Bet you didn't think we could pull it off, did you? Oh yeah, I bet you didn't. I bet you saw us in that in that laboratory. You were freaking out. But look at us, man. Look look at me and Todd. What did we do? I said, well, there was one second left until freeze. Down to one second. Can you believe that, bro? I can't, it's crazy. Timing had to be perfect, like she said, and it literally was. And it was absolutely perfect. Well, Todd, what do you say we go swimming? Oh! I'm so down. Oh, me too. Let's check the temperature. 87. Ooh, kind of cold. Yeah, right? If you enjoyed this series, make sure to subscribe and leave a like on this video, and I will be making a bunch more stuff just like this.